Hey, hi friends. Welcome to Linux Shell Scripting uh, Beginner to Expert Level Course Day 14, guys. So you have seen we have covered everything in this uh, handling user input, guys. And friends, in today's session, I am going to show you how you can implement handling user input for a real time project, guys. And the real time project is basically to check the system, to check the connectivity. So basically, uh, this real time project is like uh, just try to understand when you have multiple machines, right? And if you want to check the connectivity between those machines to your main machine, right? So in that scenario, how you are going to do it with the help of uh, user input script, right? Basically. So basically, this is a connectivity test by a ping command, guys, right? When you have 100 of machines or 2000 of machines, right? Where those connectivity you wanted to check at once uh, with the help of IP or you can do these things by two ways, guys. That is what uh, let me show you in the script that how we can achieve this one guys but before that one guys if you're new to this channel then please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all latest notification guys so let's get started so guys as you can see that uh, i have already written the script uh, let me do a ls hyphen ltrh right so you can see that i have created a script that system uh, check uh, that is basically we are going to check the system at command line that is what we have understand in the previous session and those who are uh, seeing this real time project first time so please my request is visit all the previous videos then only you can understand this example this real time uh, project guys otherwise it's difficult for you to understand right because there is a correlation between the previous session with this real time project guys okay and you can see parallelly i have opened the machines like which all machines we are going to check the connectivity like uh, this is one machine uh, this is another machine so like this in your environment it will be you are managing like 4000 machines as you can see there was a mock interview where i was going through uh Kavya's mock interview right so she was handling almost 4000 machines right so in that scenario you cannot do a simple a simple ping command you need to create an automation right when you have to validate something right when suppose you have done uh with some kind of a patching and all right and now you need to make sure uh that the network connectivity between connectivity between all the machine from your main machine is working properly right so you have to how you are going to do it right and even suppose in cases like where uh, you have to i know there are tools but when you have something already by default in your bash shell or in your linux operating system so why can't we automate this one into our existing environment right so guys let me show you first what is the script is all about so first uh, just see the first this is the actually may the thing is i have split it up the script into two ways because right in the previous session i told you that so being a user okay uh if you have to provide the input value at the command line okay then how you can achieve with the help of script so the first script is like that only check system multiple system where you have multiple systems right uh where you can provide multiple ips in the command line only and you can verify whether those machines are reachable or not those machines are up or not running or not right so this is the basic uh, troubleshooting also uh, being a Linux system administrator, which you need to perform, right? And the other script is all about when you see, right? This is something you can do a handy kind of like, suppose three to four machines are there or 10 machines are there. So quickly you can give those IP in the command line only and you can verify whether those machines are reachable or not. But in case, suppose you have almost 1000 machines are there or 3000 machines are there or 4000 machines are there you are handling in your production environment so how you are going to do that with the help of a script so those values we can provide in the form of input text file or those ips we need to provide to the script in the file in the form of file guys so first understand this one this is very simple script guys and uh, see dollar hash you already know why i am using dollar hash 
to remind you again this i have already explained in the previous session guys uh if you can see here what do you mean by dollar hash it's a variable contains the number of command line parameter included when script was run so this is basically a special parameter variables which is going to contains the number of command line whatever the number of command line para means argument will give basically the value being a user you are going to provide so it's going to contain all okay and it's going to include all basically when the script was run so this is uh, right the meaning of your dollar hash uh, right so you can see this is what we are giving under if condition if also i have explained you already in the previous session what do you mean if the if condition will be true then only the then block is going to execute this is what i have mentioned over here right otherwise it's going to exit right when the if condition will be exit with a zero then only the if block is going to then then block is going to execute it's going to print this one guys means ultimately dollar has it's going to if you are going to provide a input value that is what the meaning of dollar hash at a command line if you are not providing any value in the command line then what it's going to do right and there is another thing that i have told you right when you are giving this is not only one case okay this is about the if condition and the other one is guys like when loop through each machine provided as an argument why i have used this one for loop we use for iteration right until unless it will iterate uh, right so when you have taken for uh, machine is basically our variable in dollar at the rate of now you understand what is the importance of this special parameter value uh, variable dollar at the rate of means what variable takes all the parameters supplied on the command line as a separate word in the same even though if you give a big string okay but it's going to take those string as a separate word okay so for that only because suppose you have multiple ips so how you are going to make sure that the script will understand okay no this is one ip then this is the another word this is the third word this is the fourth word or it's it will be like this is the first ip second ip third ip right so for that only i have used this dollar at the rate of here guys okay so uh, let's go to the script here so this is why so for and it's going to see dollar at the rate of okay the value basically like machine one machine two machine three means the ip of machine one ip of machine two and ip of machine three which you are going to provide so the loop is going to execute pinging the machine so it's going to ping it's basically ping is a basically it's ping command okay so it's going to ping those machines and again this is a very simple uh, linux command only which i have used so dollar machine basically it's going to take it from where it's going to take it from this variable and the machine value being a user value which you are going to provide at a command line that it's going to take it from this if condition guys right whether user providing any input value or not if you are not providing it's not going to do anything right so the first thing is it's going to verify this part and then it's going to execute the script guys okay and then this is p hyphen c basically immediately after three pings the first machine what the ip of the first machine whatever you have provided it will ping that uh, that one and it will be immediately terminate and it will go for the next machine it will check the next machine ip again immediately after three pings it's going to terminate it's go for the third machine so like this you can do it but just see why i have used here and this dollar zero right this is also a meaning over here everything is i have utilized from the handling user input guys uh you can see here what do you mean by dollar zero that is the this is also a special variable it we call it as a positional parameter okay uh in uh, bash shell it will be uh, you will be uh, getting by default okay so dollar zero dollar one it's a first parameter being a user if you are providing the first value uh, in the command line second value in the command line so these these uh, variables are going to hold those values guys okay so dollar zero is basically it's going to take the script name 
okay so uh, just see here if i am not going to let's execute this script then you will understand better so see uh, if i execute this script guys so what i am getting see it's very clear as i said it's going to return me what it's going to return me because here the then block is executing and it's returning me like this only dollar zero means dollar zero is basically a script name only so it's returning machine one machine two machine three because we are going to echo why because at command line condition is exit with when when the condition is not true right have we provided any it's going to what do you mean by this dollar hash okay again understand with this dollar hash guys okay you see the variable contains the number of command line parameter included when the script was run have we provided any command line input no so what it's going to print it's going to print this only right correct guys so this is why we are getting this check system and check system uh, command line dot sh why we are getting it's because of this this script name we are getting here it's because of this dollar zero and the meaning is this only because dollar zero is basically your script name so that is what we are getting our script name here only that is what we are getting our script but what we need to do is you need to provide the input value over here right and this we are giving as a command line okay not through a file or something and this when we need to do is like if you have 10 ips or immediately 5 ips you want to check the connectivity whether those 5 ips are reachable or not those 5 machines are reachable or not right linux machine like suppose this machine is there right so let's take the ip of this machine quickly i am giving the first input value okay now the second input value what i am giving is this machine is there right so i am going to give the second input value now you will understand why i have used here dollar at the rate of it's not going to treat this as a single string it's going to treat it as a word by word as a separate word means as a separate ip only okay even though we can take the ip of this machine also and you can give it like this i'm just going to change this one that is 214 and just do an enter and now you'll see the magic it's not a magic guy it's basically a shell scripting it's very handy and it's very lightweight i know python uh, most of you feel difficult okay but this is something which is inbuilt and you can adapt also very quickly and you can automate your environment very fastly guys and you can get the output and uh, right uh, existing environment you can automate so you can see clearly uh, it's immediately after three pings it's pinging the first ip it's and it's telling you this uh, this much uh, we have received and how much the packet loss will be there everything we are good getting here it's going to ping the second ip also now the same machine also we are trying to ping and we are getting the output so like you can check the connectivity of multiple machines guys okay at a time but this is at a command line input value being a user you are providing now the most important part when you have thousands of ips when you have thousands of machine right most of the question i am getting from a viewer sir uh, how to test multiple machines right this is the real time and this is what you can explain in the interview also this you can perform in your day-to-day uh, -day activity right being a linux admin or being if you are trying to automate something also you can utilize these things right guys so uh, let me show you the second script guys just do a ls hyphen ltrh so this is the second script uh, right and just do a cat of this one but in this script guys what change i have done it you will understand quickly just see this one it's very simple and easy script you no need to get confused here only thing is that rather than providing the ips from command line we are providing those ips through a text file and why we are doing this one because the number of machines are more when the number of machines are 1000 2000 3000 4000 immediately you can check the status of those machines are reachable or not with the help of this script in your production environment please go ahead and execute this script guys 
so this is a real time project i am showing you okay so uh, see here the script starts with here okay ba basically but it's not going to execute from here this is basically i have created just a function uh, normally uh, going forward in the next session like there are only two uh, two topics are left in this uh, linux uh, shell scripting beginner to expert level course that is guys uh, processing uh, data and another one is your script control then we are done with almost shell scripting and then finally uh, the most awaited series guys that is aws series i know the question interview question and answer i have already started okay but the uh, course i have not yet started so i'll start with that one so you almost i have covered maximum thing in your uh, linux administration okay and those guys if you wanted to join the membership okay uh, to make sure if you want a one to one mentorship okay counseling career guidance or if you want to take the mock interview if you want an early reply to my uh, to your any of your questions okay uh, query or anything uh, you can join my membership it's not going to cost you more than pizza or a burger price guys and and at the same time if you want to join the live classes also guys that is an uh, almost next level uh, you can understand if you think that that is because i believe more into the interaction uh, right when you interact with the instructor or right because i have uh, almost a corporate trainer also okay uh, apart from my job i used to give corporate training in my company also so those things also i used to do it so that is a golden opportunity for you to uh, being a part of live classes so once you join the membership immediately i'll tell you how you can join the live classes guys okay now come back here just try to understand this one guys so this is the function basically check connectivity is a normal function i have created here machine one this is a variable and dollar one now you will understand why i have uh, shown this diagram this is a positional parameter dollar one is basically your first parameter guys so right and uh, we are storing that first parameter into machine variable right and echo pinging dollar machine so whatever the input value you are going to provide as a first parameter uh, being a user okay so it's going to store it's going to uh, store basically in this machine variable and you are echo that that one right and basically we are using ping command every immediately after three pings it's going to exit okay the first ip the first machine as soon as it will ping for three times it will be exit from there now here you need to understand this one those who have already gone through my first uh, day one day two or day three where i have explained the basic uh, shell scripting so you see if condition all of you know why we are using if condition dollar question mark what is this dollar question mark so basically dollar question mark is a special variable which holds the execution value means basically what the previous command has executed okay it's going to hold the exit status of that command guys i have already explained you suppose for example you are running a date command okay uh, or you are running anything guys who command okay you have run this one you have run the date command now immediately if you run this just do a echo and then do a dollar and this question mark okay and then do a uh, dollar guy and then friends just do a question mark you see we are getting zero exit with a zero so basically what it's doing is it's holding the exit status of your just previous command try to understand this one i have already explained you can grow through the day one day two day three uh examples i have uh, the topics you will understand this is the basic uh understanding of this uh dollar question mark is equal to zero okay if this condition is going to true it's going to exit with a zero then only it's going to uh print the machine is reachable else it's going to print the machine is unreachable so this is a function which i have used over here but the main scripts it starts from here okay so first where the execution will go uh, just try to understand 
so ultimately we are going to print something please provide the input file contains the list of linux machine ip addresses so basically i have already created an input file which contains the list of ip addresses that i'll show you don't worry and that is what this input file input underscore file is and read command you have already know i have already explained in the just just previous to this session guys uh, why i am using a read command over here so i am not going to explain the same thing again and again please go through that so you'll understand why i am using a read command over here right so check if the input file exists so here also if condition is there hyphen f is basically we use for the files okay and uh, dollar input file is what the variable is all about it's going to read it so basically why we use read command to read the file input file okay so input file we are giving as a uh, variable over here and then echo the input file not found exiting exit with one okay so it's going to check the condition over here and then finally here if you see uh, in the then and it's there is a while also uh, there are multiple things which you need to do it here because you need to like same the previous script we have used the for loop but here we we are using while loop because while loop is right it's uh, somewhere between your uh, for loop and your if then statement that is what i have explained already okay so it's going to check the condition how it's going and ifs is internal file separator okay this is also shell script right uh, variable you can say right we use here so read we use hyphen r okay machine ip and then the do so while and do okay so under do and done we can execute one or more linux commands right so we are checking the connectivity that is machine ip over here under done okay and we are uh, why we have given this one because uh, we have to provide the input value at the uh, input file value uh, so basically we have to provide the file okay which contains the list of ip in while the script will ask you to provide as an input guys and then uh, you will understand right uh, so most of the things uh, this is basically a function guys and this function is to check the connectivity to a machine i have already explained each and everything of this one if you want to understand the basic basic minute of a uh, very detail then you you can go to my previous session you will understand everything this is very a simple script the main script will starts from here it's going to read the input file it's going to check uh, if the input file exists or not first it's going to check whether the input file exists or not okay so for that only i have used this if condition over here now in the next one because here we need to put some kind of a condition okay so that is what we are putting that condition with the while loop okay and under do and done we have given one or more linux command only so it's going to read the ip address from the input file and check the connectivity guys here right so uh, i hope uh, this is very clear to you guys and the function why we have mentioned it like that if suppose those suppose one machine is not reachable so in that case we are going to get for this one machine is unreachable now i am going to show you that uh, uh, that what input file i have created over here so you can see this input file i have already created over here and if you go inside this file uh, you can see these are the ips which is already there now i am going to provide a ip which is not there as a part of this uh, machine i have it's not assigned to any of the machine okay so a kind of a, you can say which is going to be unreachable i am going to make it as a 227 so you will understand how it's going to provide the output at the command line guys so let's save it i am using all these three ips of this machine and there is an additional ip i have given that is uh, obviously it's not going to reachable just to show you how the script works here okay so this is the input file right before that let's again uh, clear this one guys okay and just do a cat of this one right check system input now the script is again here now let's execute the script okay let's take this one and at the same time 
now see as soon as you execute the script guys it's asking you the provide the input file containing so you can also understand from where it's executing this is why i have given in the comment the main script will execute from here it's reading so it's asking you to provide the input file so what is that input file this is the input file and plus i have given the extension txt as soon as you do this one so check if the input file exists or not okay and then it's going to read because the input file exists it's already there in uh, the location right and then it's going to read the ip addresses input file and check the connectivity now see see you can clearly see the ip 214 it's executed first the ip 224 it's executed second and the ip 225 and finally it's giving you 192.168.72.227 is unreachable and that is coming from where guys and that is coming from this function check connectivity so i hope uh, this is very clear to all of you guys right and uh, if you have Oh, any doubt okay uh, related to this real time project uh, please let me know and please go ahead and execute uh, these scripts in your production environment this is nothing going to harm and you will see the difference also guys okay and friends one more thing over here that uh, like most of you are asking sir uh, like pre please provide some kind of a doc or something so these uh, scripts and all soon you are going to get in my freshertube.com uh like right uh you can uh, let me show you once again uh this is my own blogging website guys that is freshertube.com you all of you know already uh this is the website which i have already created only for you guys so you guys can visit this one i know the work is in progress i'm not getting much time to make sure that all the documents are up to date but this script you are going to find it over here okay uh, let me know guys uh, if you have any doubt uh, related to this real time project okay mm, uh, i'll provide the solution as soon as possible you can do the comments okay uh, for this one so okay guys let's end up the session here only thank you for watching this video for more videos like this just stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all latest notification Till then guys, just do take care of your loved ones. Bye-bye and Jai Hind.